Hey folks, it's Bob coming at you from Fire Mountain Outdoors. You know, one of the questions that Mark and I get asked quite a bit is, do you build your own rifles? And a lot of times, yes, that is what we do. We build our AR-15s. And what upper receiver are you using and how do you put it together? Well, I'm gonna give you a quick little view on the M4E1 Enhanced Upper Receivers from Aero Precision. This has the barrel nut already machined into the upper receiver. It makes building your upper so much easier. I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration on how that's done. Stick around. So here we have all of our pieces we're gonna to need to assemble our upper receiver. This is just gonna be a quick and dirty demonstration on how everything works. So we've got the M4E1 enhanced upper receiver. It's got the barrel nut already built into the upper receiver. It's machined in there. Comes pre-assembled with your port door and your forward assist. It also comes with the barrel nut and a wrench adapter. This would attach to uh, your, your torque wrench so you can torque that down to the uh, specified foot pounds. First thing you're gonna wanna do is take your barrel. We've got the index pin right here. This is gonna line up inside your receiver with that pin detent right in there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. So those are gonna slide into place. Then you're gonna take your nut and you're gonna tighten that down. So at this point, we would, at work at Aero Precision, we would install this onto a Geisley reaction rod it locks your barrel into place. Then you would stick your torque wrench onto here, line it up, and then tighten it down to like 45 foot pounds. So there you would have like your barrel installed on your upper receiver. Then you would take your gas tube and your low pro front gas block, slide that into place. It's already timed here, so you don't have to worry about getting the right uh, amount of shims in place to put it in. Then you would just tighten down these screws right here. Make sure that everything's lined up the way it should be before you give that the final tighten down. Then they have their enhanced hand guards. You know, like this one here, they also have the new quantum hand guards available. And that's gonna slide into place. Then you'll have your screws, and we're just going to install those. Just going to give you a put a couple screws in here to tighten it down so you can see what we've got. So obviously this is an FDE handguard in the process of rebuilding it into something else and and probably going to use one of the new quantum handguards in the final build. So that's it, folks. That's how easy it is to put together a brand new upper using the enhanced M4E1 upper receivers. You know, again, you're going to want to torque that down, you know, with the supplied wrench to the proper specs. But other than that, this would be good to go. So there we have it, folks, a completed upper receiver. You know, if I would have done this properly, I would have done it in the shop and I would have torqued that barrel nut down for you at the, uh, the proper torque. But this just kind of gives you an idea of just how easy it is to put one of these complete upper receivers together. It's very easy and just about anybody that has any sort of knowledge of how to use tools can do it at home. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, just hire a gunsmith and have them do it for you. That way you know you're getting the job done right. But there it is, the M4E1 Enhanced Upper Receiver, quick and dirty. One of the best parts is, is anytime you wanna change out this handguard, you wanna go from key mod to M-lock or back to a quad rail, you wanna try a different handguard length, all you have to do is change out these eight screws, slide on your new handguard for whatever situation that you need, you can go from the fifth or the 12 inch to the 15, the seven or the nine. It's just so simple and easy to do. And so you have 
options, lots and lots of options. You've got the regular enhanced handguards from Aero Precision, and now they've got their Quantum handguard line. You've got all sorts of different ways that you can customize and change out your rifle's features. So anyway, hope you found this to be a little bit insightful and a little bit educational. Make sure you always follow the four basic safety rules. Stay safe, shoot straight, we'll catch you on the firing line. Thanks for watching.